landing. Oh. No. No. He's had it. enough. I poked him. Well, guys, here in my backyard, we have a beautiful little box turtle. He's not that little. Try not to get too close. I want to take some pictures. No, don't take off running. Look. There's my hand down next to him. So not too little. About the size of my hand. Yeah, awesome little guy. I'm gonna try to get some pictures before he coil, I mean, not coils up, I mean, goes back into his shell. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys. Well, I was actually just looking out my kitchen window while I was going to make some coffee and I looked in the yard. Yeah, window's right up there. I looked in my yard and I found this little guy. A very small box turtle. Not that small. There he is compared to my hand. Look at him. He's a really pretty one. Alright, we'll just thought I'd show you guys and I'll see you in a bit. You know Alright guys, well we were uh, hiking the creek and we found this little stink pot musk turtle, I think. He's very wide, but that's what we think he is. David! So we kept walking. No, don't poke him. And we found this big angry red-eared slider. Very we're going to keep hiking this creek and Ow. let's hope we find some snakes. <laughs> so we find some snakes. We found another big red-eared slider and it looked I don't know what we don't know what happened to his shell. But there's like a fork. Oh god, he's running away again. Ah, he took the ball. <laughs> All right, well this is an awesome slider and yeah, we're going to let him go cuz it's just a slider. Bye. Monkey. So, so, so trying to get this turtle out. All right, shut up. Yeah, they like to hide under sticks. I know, I'm staring at Big Boy and I don't know which one to catch first. No, the, mur the water's going murky. Oh, God. Make sure there's nothing. Yeah. That's Big Boy. Oh, that's Tiny Boy. Ah, I got Tiny Boy. Ow, he's scratching me. <laughs> tiny Boy, you're not swimming. This is air. Ouch. Don't Ouch. put your... Flip him over and then he stops. Ouch. See? He just kind of gives up. Ouch. Ouch. See? He just kind of gives up. Gosh, man. Hey, where's Big Boy? Up my I don't know, somewhere over there. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Well, hey guys, me and Keegan are actually out in Tickfaw State Park, just where me and Dom were a little while ago. There's Keegan getting down. And we have found the second snake of the day. We found a cottonmouth earlier. We tried to get him. Hey, Ooh, did. Yeah, I got you. But it did not work very well. So we are down here trying to get this guy. And there's a good bit of water in between. But we're going to do our best to get him, and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Hopefully we get him. Alright guys, well we lost another cottonmouth, but that one seemed really angry, so I didn't just try to grab it like I would normally. But we are out here in the gator pond, or there's known for gators, and we started just beating the water with uh, like our sticks, see if we can get one to come. And this guy has followed us, or like, he's right there, he came from like all the way on the other side of the pond, we saw him cruising on in, and hell yeah, we got a gator. Another. We sound so earlier, I forgot to film him, but yeah, we got a gator. All right, we'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh. No. No. He's had it. enough. I poked him. <laughs> He's like, y'all, y'all, dude, y'all got no food. Hear that? Yeah, he like, he snorted. Oh, he's made. He's, he's turning around. He's learning that we have nothing for. Him. Wait, stop. We did as much as we could to get this guy in. And I think we're gonna call it quits. We'll let, let him go. He's within touching distance. He doesn't want to be touched. Nah. Can't imagine he would. Come closer, sir. Come closer. Please. Eh, we think we're gonna call it a day. We've seen a lot, and I guess we'll see you guys. And uh, or I guess this is the end of the video. Or no, this is probably just a clip. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in a bit then. All right, guys. Well, here was the gator that I neglected to film earlier. Because we walked up and he disappeared. We figured he'd be right here. And there he is in his glory. He hasn't run away yet, which is surprising. Because we both walked up. But hell yeah, another gator. That's I think it's the same one we saw earlier. So three gators, three cottonmouths, and uh, a lot of gar. There are a lot of, of course, there are none right here that I can show off. There are a lot of gar fish in here. I'm right here. Oh, yeah, there they all go. And then, I don't see Baby Gator. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, uh... Yeah, you might want to go back to the car. Alright, well, awesome finds today. And we'll see you guys in the next clip. Yeah. Alright, guys. Well, this is just to show that cottonmouths really do not want anything to do with you. 
And oh no, look, it's chasing Keegan. But no, it's just the water is behind Keegan in the video right now. And that's all where he wants to go. So right now, he's being very chill. Let's put a hand right near him. Uh, I'm this close, and he's just not doing anything. Perfectly calm. Me and Keegan have both handled him. He has not made any defensive attempts to strike or anything. Look, so he's just kind of enjoying the world right now, looking around. All right, guys, well, awesome find, and we'll get you guys a release clip in just a bit. We'll see y'all then. All right, guys, we actually got the cottonmouth. Is it what didn't take too long? He's a very nice guy. Yeah, we pulled him towards us. He only sh he only opened his mouth when we accidentally touched his head with the hook. We got him. Oh, that's a bit risky. <laughs> no, that's smart. Well, here we are. Keegan is in snick training. But he, he knows what he's doing. And we were able to get him over there. We just kind of hooked him and pulled him towards us. And then just the head to tail. And we managed to get him over here. He's really pretty. Kind of looks like an older version of the one we lost earlier. Yeah, awesome find. I'm going to try to get some pictures, and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Probably more clips of this guy. It makes it easier for Dominic to edit. All right, guys, well, this is just showing how nice and complacent this snake really is. I've never done this with a cottonmouth before. I'm actually freehandling him with the gloves on. These gloves are snake-proof. We've tested them with a really angry cottonmouth. Look, he is perfectly fine with us just picking him up. I'd even go as far to say as we could do this with bare hands, but no way we're gonna try that. You gotta be safe. Never, or I wanna put the disclaimer out there, never go out and try to do this, even if you have snake-proof gloves without proper training. Me, Dominic, and Keegan have done this for a good long time, and Keegan's just, or no, you, you've done it for a really long time, right? Did it in middle school, yeah. Yeah, so we're all used to this, and we know how to read snake behavior, so do not just go out in the wild and think it's okay to pick up snakes like this because not all of them are going to be as nice as this guy. All right, well, we are going to walk him over to the water now. I'm going to think I'm going to hook him for this part. Yeah, go for it. Passing me the hook, sir. Hooking just makes him just drop him on the log. All right, yeah, we'll put him back to the water. Thank you. Don't look at him, look at me. I don't know if I'm getting that far, so I'm just going to lightly place him down and set him on his way. Bye, sir. Thank you for being, like, the nicest cottonmouth I've ever messed with. Bye-bye. Yeah, you're... All right, well, actually, on the ride home, we found this huge red-eared slider. We don't know where he's going. There does not seem to be any ponds around here. But I guess we'll just let him on his way. Seems to be trying to get through here, which isn't working very well for him, but he'll figure it out. All right, we'll see you guys in the next clip. Front of him, I can try to hook him. Here, it's flashlight. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Well, Hi, bud. Right next to oh, and oh. he's gone. Net him, net him. Just put him in the net. No. Nope. Let him go up on the bank so he doesn't like disappear. Sometimes they disappear under the bank, though. Oh, no, he's right there. He's I see there. him, yeah. Oh, my God, yep, yeah. and he's gone. I was gonna say, you want the net so we can try to scoop him and then he disappeared. Yeah, I should have gone with the net. Yeah, it's on film. We got some, we, <laughs> we got a clip. Woo! Good. Oh, my pants are wet. That's all right. Need a hand. Just whoa. He's banded like a freaking copperhead. Here, let me. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Keep Hold it not. Look, Good. I'm gonna put my snake hook directly over where he's at so you don't like grab him on the way up. Y you know what I mean. I know. Yeah. All right, guys, so as y'all just saw, we discovered and I uh, managed to hook this awesome little cottonmouth. We got our venom snake gloves and everything, just out and whatnot. Um, I'm passing me my hook. Yeah, here you go. That's it. Mind passing me mine? Uh, yes, I just don't want to step on any more babies because that we found really fast. So I think that this is a newborn cottonmouth yeah. based off the size. We're entering into the um, breeding season, or not breeding season so much as birthing season. Around these cooler, summery months, they kind of uh, start coming out, the babies in full force. But this guy's really gorgeous. I'd like to uh, I note, it. you can see there kind of where he's slithering, the yellow tail tip. And we'll get that on better film oh, in just dang. a second. he's got a nice one. I didn't even notice it. Yeah. On the bottom, really. Look, let me see if I can pick him up. Oh, no. But uh, these guys are, uh, they use that, a lot of pit vipers use that little yellow tail tip to lure in prey and then eat it. 
So yeah, we're gonna get some better clips of this guy, but uh, he's really cool. Nice to, nice to see him. We'll check back in with you guys in a bit. So this guy right here is a juvenile cottonmouth, as we've stated previously. And you can see there on the tip of his tail, he's got that bright little yellow uh, lure, and they use that to lure things in. This guy's really pretty, although I'm not gonna get any pictures because it's so dark and it'd probably be low quality. Or, you know, I might try for one, but uh, we're not gonna try super duper hard. Uh, really cool guy, though. Uh, we're gonna get maybe a picture or two, and then we'll let him go, and hopefully we'll find some other things before uh, we have to leave. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. I think we'll just leave him up here because we found him up here. All right. All right. <sighs> You go. You might want to just, I mean, you can take a clip just saying like, oh, well, cool. bye-bye, sir. Yep, that's basically what we're doing. Bless you. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw, I'm just so, gonna throw my bag first. That's while Davis is figuring out how to cross that over there, I managed to catch a baby broad-banded water snake who's really tiny, like this guy must have been born just recently. This is yesterday. this year's baby, yeah. Um, and we've been saying hatched. Cottonmouths and water snakes all give live birth, which is really interesting. And so uh, this guy right here was born fairly recently, especially based off of his size. You can tell, oh, look at that tiny baby bite. Oh, so fierce. You can tell that he was definitely born recently. Um, we're going to get some pictures of this guy because he's adorable. And then we're going to keep on moving on and maybe we'll find some other cool things for y'all. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to release this little guy and we're going to keep on moving on. But uh, there he goes. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.